hey guys, Thunder here. Uh, you can see from the title today, we're going to be looking at some of my uh, Apex Legends VODs. Uh, going over them, seeing what mistakes I made, uh, how I can improve. You know, typical VOD review stuff. If you um, ever been on a competitive team, uh, VOD review is essential. Um, and so today I was going to be going over some of my uh, Apex VODs, right? And I've run a lot of different VOD reviews, so I, you know, I... It's not like I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so, I'll kind of like go over them and make a video out of it. So, you guys, maybe you guys make the same mistakes I do. Uh, or you want to know how to run a VOD review or whatever. Uh, I have a couple VODs here. Uh, and these are all games I most of the time die early in. Because I made a mistake. Right? So, you know, you don't want a VOD review good VODs. If you VOD review a win, you might go, wow, I played that. Obviously, I could maybe play it better, but uh, you're not going to be hard on yourself if you win, okay? You VOD review the bad games, right? That's how you get better. Uh, it's just straight facts. So, here, uh, sorry for the audio. This is recorded before I got my new microphone. Uh, so, the clip audio, this VOD audio is not perfect, but... I think I looked over it and I think I, I think it was a good VOD to uh, just look at. So uh, I kind of skipped while I get in game. I for here I notice so you notice in the select screen I have Pathfinder picks right. I'm a very good path main. I am really good at movement. Obviously I'm not perfect. I'm still plat four, uh, but you know I would say I'm pretty good at path right. Then I get in game and. I just for whatever reason decided to put Wraith because I was most of my time I was trying to instead of play the game I was legitimately trying to like rat out entire matches to get RP to get higher level which I don't really do that much anymore but uh yeah so that's kind of where I, reason I did that uh, which I think in this situation, you know, this path would have been so much better, and I should just honestly stick with path and rank. So that's kind of what this VOD taught me. You see later why that is. Okay, round. I think I give my lifeline jump master, or I go for it. No, I yeah. And so this is a risky drop here. Uh, and so if we look here. Salvage, Bunker, and No Name Compounds are all directly in the path, right? And so if the circle is here, if we drop here, we're going to have to rotate into all those teams. And on King's Cannon, we'll probably get third party by Swamps. We'll probably get third party by Pit. And then whoever lands No Name, by the time we get over here to Kai Containment, we're going to third party by them. Uh, and the only safe spot to rotate is to rotate up to the no name thing by bunker the opposite side of bunker and then zip over but that's such a risky play and that's why i think uh no this was pre nerf wraith if i remember right i might be wrong on that uh so yeah i could have portaled but then i'm portaling up a hill and the portal from this side to that side is not going to reach and so this is a really risky drop that we have to win every fight at and then have to do a long rotate through artillery if the zone is over here. So a safer drop would have been to do uh, rig, because rig, uh, you can take really nice isolated fights in swamps, and then rotate the zone that way. Because let's say you drop rig, right? Uh, and the zone's over here. You have a such, you're so isolated that if you take a fight there, you're really easily able to recover after before a third party or it's not even be third party uh so that's kind of why i really dislike landing there uh if i had to select a spot though on this one would probably be rig or water treatment those are the two really good zones i think good spots they can give you the safest rotation in the zone if you want to drop edge or, like an edge of map drop simply because of the fact that water treatment it's just good because you have a lot of different rotation options. If it zones here, you can rotate there, 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 and take isolated fights along the way. 
Uh, the only issue with water treatment, though, would be the market drop, which is why I think Rig is just slightly better. Not really a uh, issue there. So I, that's why initially that's a thing I see. I should have me as Jump Master noticed that faster and landed Rig. Because it's safer. And it's next to a hot drop. So even if, if so, less people are going to drop Rig. And anyone who actually does want uh, alt, like alts, because alt towers are going to drop capacitor because of the three instead of rig for the one. And then people are going to hot drop there. So we can third party uh, swamps and or third party capacitor really easily too. But instead, you can see I go here. And then even supply ship. Like, we're going to have a supply ship on us. That's going to be looted almost instantly. And so that means multiple teams will be dropping us in here. Uh, which means, and looting supply ship is so much faster than looting the entirety of uh, runoff that you, you're you going to lose a fight because uh, this has better gear overall than runoff. And so it gives they get jumped on, you're screwed. Okay. In. Hang on. One squad to our left. Yeah, like here, so I, we have, I noticed a squad here. What I should have noticed early on that I just didn't, I just that I didn't process was that it was a Caustic Wraith. I, I can't tell, I've, I think it's a Caustic Loba Pathfinder. And so a co we're dropping in a, uh, uh, enclosed space with like, it's a Caustic team. So what I do here is try to get us over here, right? Don't over here and take a fight in the open because Caustic's really bad in the open and you get high ground. But instead I go straight into a building. Right number eight. And we separate here, it's fine. And they they separate little. And what I notice, I take to take short, then my lifeline takes it. And so I just go under. And under, right, under here is really bad loot. It's just facts. And so what I should have done here is go loot the loot boxes outside as fast as humanly possible. All right. And so notice here. I'm literally missing an entire loot, uh, loot, loot crate here that could have had a purple in there. could have had a uh, wingman. It could have had a uh, mastiff, Eva, Eva, or anything like that. It's good close range. But I just skip over it to mirror my lifeline. Which then, by mirroring my lifeline, I'm screwing up her loot pathing as well. I do go off a bit. But you see, I'm taking kind of long to make decisions here. And against the caustic team and runoff, you want to be decisive. And so I notice my Mirage gets down here. What I should do is wait for my lifeline to help push out. Because she's kind of so far away. And then we take the fight together. But if I know right, I just kind of go in. And so what I do here. I notice the downed him. Right? And so I notice I should know there's a zip line there. I shouldn't need that. What I should have done is nade above and force people to drop down. So now is my lifeline climb up. What I should have done there is climb up with my lifeline. Climb up with my lifeline even though it's better to do a bad call as a team than a good call separately. Does that make sense? So what I do here is I go to loot more. And then my lifeline gets downed around here. Yeah, she's about to get downed. And I know it's a caustic bro. I down caustic. I pick up this armor. Yeah, I go in right away. What I do is do, okay, I pick up G7, but there's no ammo. So she queues out. What I should have done here is immediately close the door, heal my shield, and go push. And see, now they got the finish on my lifeline, which means you got the armor swap. And now I know one of them's below. And so, like, you might, oh, Evan, the only issue there was you ran out of ammo, right? Because of the nerfs, right? This is, this is nerfed. No, it's not even nerfed. Um, the issue was there was the fact that I missed so much loot potential, uh, and the drop is bad itself, right? So, it's kind of with that VOD, and I have a. Uh, so, overall, there, the issue was the drop, I think. What we should have done is dropped left and run off, then 
uh, third party runoff because the fight was going to happen because the supply ship was there. And pit team typically rotates into runoff. Which actually, can I, did I ever look at this up? So we did end up getting zone, which is good for us, I guess. But with ranked, I was hoping zone would be a little more pulled uh, westward towards, uh, oh god, what's the job? I, drop, I, I used to drop with my team. Uh, anyway, uh, that one drop by runoff on the west. That one. Slums, slum, slums, right? Yeah. Anyway, that's that's kind of this VOD. It's kind of the issues I saw with this. Uh, I think I have one more, maybe two uh, short ones. Uh, give me a second to pull this up. Okay, well. Uh, now, this recording didn't start on landing, so I can't give commentary on what I should have done differently on landing. But uh, this is a fight I think I end up losing. Yeah, so, no, it's here. So, here. And so, this guy made the right call. I actually noticed a lot earlier. Like, let's dip. This is a pointless fight because we're literally, for so long, we're poking, we're using out meds, and we say, what's dip? All right, it's a waste. Our, um, our bloodhound makes that. And me, this is, this was happening probably like 30 seconds before I started the recording. Um, and so, what I should have noticed as a Pathfinder, you know, I should end my Wraith. We should have both been looking out like, hey, what plays can we make? What can we do? Should we get out? We, But both of us are kind of blood hungry here. Um, what we should have done is gone out, heal up, then come back in, right? With a better angle. And so I did make, I'd have a zip. I already think it's, I already so had a zip line out, right? You know, I kind of try to poke them off. It's whatever, it's poking off. This is fine. The way we got out was fine. The fucking... What I should have done there, so. Uh, can I do that? Oh, right. No, right, right there. I should pick up a Havoc. I'm literally running R301 with no ammo. Uh, and I could pick up a Havoc and there's two stacks of energy ammo there. I would have been, I would have been in a better can place. You... And so we're just gonna poke them off so our Wraith can get a portal into the building. And we can get a carry package for free. And so I'm kinda lagging here, but that's not the issue. And so I take this back, but I heavily so yeah, I noticed the Cossack Alt. It's fine. Um the play with there, some people you can criticize it, but considering it's a pub match, it's probably fine. Um but in like a ranked or like a scrim or something like that, well, I would never do that. So what you want to do, what well, that portal was risky to take because I know it's a caustic team because uh, they had caustic barrels and caustic ulted beforehand. They they caustic ulted or barreled. I couldn't see. Uh, I don't think you can see in the replay either. Uh, like I, I think it's a caustic alt. I um should have not taken portal there because I took some tick damage. Kind of like in a fight, it's bad. So I go here. So I notice I'm getting poked. Uh, and then there's a team on. I notice there's a team on 82, which is uh, this building up here. And now, what smart thing I do here is uh, I don't poke them. Okay, you don't want to poke a team that's helping you um, pinch another team, right? It's so gonna drive them away, and then you have to. You're gonna take a fight and get third party. What you want to do is pinch the one team, right? And then as fast as you can face the other team instead of facing a team then getting third party from the other team which is what I kind of did bad here and now I notice they all take portal right what I could have done is um go on a high ground because this building uh, let me see uh, right here you can get shots from the high ground and I have my zip up I have my zip and grapple up so I could have grappled up here and get in shots from uh, to help my um bloodhound here instead I go inside Right? Now we do the Cossack down early, which is really good for us. And now I do get he uh, light ammo here. And now I get beamed. And now. Now I get massive from the outside, right? So right there, 
uh, issue was I took it. I didn't. I wasn't out of the interface fast enough. Oh, what the fuck? They're inside. Right, and I just kind of my teammates just eventually died. So the, the big issue with this game right here was, uh, not knowing how to position myself with path. Right, the rooftop was the play there, and I just kind of went for the portal play instead of playing high ground and poking them. And then if they push me, I just dip down inside, give them high ground, but then play inside with my team. Right, because if spot team play not get poked, or we could have, or my team could have push high ground with me uh i think holding high ground there was the issue not what's the issue right not holding high ground i mean the so and i'll try to you know play so that's kind of issue with that one yeah and then i have one more vod i want to go over Okay, this one's a little little slightly longer has one more okay hug so now i do have this so capacitor uh with lifeline not a bad drop i don't disagree with this drop at all it's kind of center map so if we want if we want to fight we can but if we don't want to fight we have rotations outwards and we get alts right i still think rig's a better drop because it's more isolated they get more more isolated fight and less less chance of a third party um so that's why i think this is a better it's a, not a bad drop, to be fair. It's good loot, and we get high ground. I think we drop high ground, and so we have high ground advantage. I um, take my drink of my. Uh, me. Okay, I loot oh, up give here. Me the havoc, baby. You know, I'm like, you know, I'm kind of hyping myself up. It's fine. It's cool. Let's we... pop the. Oh, dude, havoc R9. Shit's about to pop off. No cap. No, I'm looting. It's fine. I just, that was a terrible one. Use those grapple. Yeah, I I noticed there actually big issue. I use a grapple there. I don't need to. I'm looting. I'm looting looting phase, right? And we know, I guarantee people. We saw a team drop labs, and a team I think dropped near capacitor, and a team drop rig. Like I, I'm gonna have about to take a fight without a grapple, and it's gonna screw me. I'm looting really oh. slow here. As well. What I should have done there, I know I'm better with G7 Scout than I am with the Havoc. And so I should have taken G7, in my opinion. But obviously it's pubs or maybe. So I was trying to find the Havoc. And I hear my Wraith be fired at. And then she goes, she uses her um, iframes. Right? And so I should have known there. Boom, get more Havoc ammo. So even there, I maybe I go G seven. Yeah, even there, you can see me. I do I go G seven R nine, and the answer is yes. I am so good. I mean, my lifeline does. I don't think I don't think my lifeline mirrors me in getting this blue armor, which is kind of a mistake. Because my lifeline should have gotten this blue armor. I guess she did eventually get a blue armor, but it's fine. But okay, yeah. See, so I eventually do go to G seven, which is good. Don't tell me. Don't tell me to use grapple. Oh no, I remember this. I always I just kind of grapple the air, and then I'm like, oh okay, no, no more useless grapples. Right, this is just looting. Everything's fine. Kind of looting a little slower than I like. I honestly think uh, to do that. Yeah. Um. Big reason I do that is because I'm running zero point R nine nine, which is really, 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 really good with iron sights. Right. Whereas the G seven scout's not as good, and so I that's why I just even though it's not a three times, I just put it on that because if I get into a fight, I won't. I know I'll be unlikely to hit a shot. Um with iron sights as well as I could with uh, one cog on it. So if I find it three times, shit's GG. It's true. I'm really, oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. So I get fired oh, at. Oh, okay. Right there. With notice I'm getting fired at, I'm moving away from my team, right? Doesn't, this loot doesn't matter. What matters is this fight. So I, what I should do is come here, get, 
uh, heal Papa Bat, then go back to my team. Oh, you miss it. Because you see here. Two times. That's that was a fucking god name. Okay. Two times. So we're here. And my Wraith is just downed. And I'm still looting. Right? I pop. And so this forces me to pop zip. Instead of just being with my team and zipping for a better position on them. Right? I'm using zip in a selfish way because I made a selfish play. Right? I will not lie though. That was a fucking perfect nade. That shit was... Oh! I'm sorry. I just want to watch that. That was like... Like... I threw it. Well, I'm sorry. Just, I just want to nerd out that nade. That was such a good nade. But I should, I should, have, should have thrown that arc star. If I, th I think if I throw that arc star first and I stick them, then I throw the nade. It's GG in this fight. But... That was a fucking god nade. And what I'm doing here isn't bad, even though I missed my nade. Not this nade, though I missed my arc star where I wanted to go. Um, that was a fucking god nade. You know, I, I stand up a little too fast, and I think I could have gotten more damage done if I just did threw it inside. And so I literally one on one, didn't call it out, and we didn't push on that, right? Now I do switch over to this, because I know I'm going to need R9 a lot more. And this kind of comes down to my aim is not as good. Oh my god, it's got fucking beamed. No, popping a bad. And now I think I try to pop a med kit while my lifeline's getting downed. Right? I'm playing like a solo instead of playing a team. I think that's my biggest issue here. And, like, I'm popping a bat. I'm popping a med kit. And I had time to finish a med kit. And so, I just didn't. Right? Because look. Look how much time I had. Right, my med kit was. Uh, I guess I can't see the med kit was done. Right, but uh, it was very close to being done, you know. And they just hard push me, and I die because I played selfishly there. I played like how you would play as a solo instead of a team. A big mistake. So big thing we can take over this VOD review was uh, play with your team more. Uh, this tips for me i should play with my team more and i should be more aware of dropping right because like dropping on a team and ranked is not going to go well for either side so yeah that's kind of the vod review uh yeah if you guys have any vods you want you want me to view or i can kind of do league of legends apex and stuff like that so let me know uh peace